Alright, hello guys, how are you doing? I hope great. I'm JimmyGGS91 here and I'll be welcome again to my let's play of Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Kong Quest. So yes, on the last video we started to uh, tackle the first uh, levels of this area, the Gloomy Gulch. So now we are going to tackle the remaining uh, levels of the Gloomy Gulch. Starting with this one that is once again inside a uh, B Zinger Hive Colored Parachute Panic. I love this name. Yeah, you understand why this name. Let's go inside, shall we? Yes, we are inside the hive again with all the honey, honeycombs, and bees and such. Alright, if you have a Dixie, it's mandatory you have her. Because when you use her glide skills, reach for the far left here to get the DK coin of this level. Yes, it's on a little alcove there. Also, let's use the opportunity to take some bananas from this place. And here is the reason why this place is called Parachute Panic. So, we have here a purple version of Squawks, whatever. And this time, he only will help you to go on a descendant way. Yes, we'll pass through a lot of bees. He does not throw any type of egg or anything to kill the bees. So, he only will help you to pass through the bees. That's the reason why he is here. Also, with this crate, don't kill these guys, instead, break this wall with this crate. Yes, it's a secret. Not with a bunnies inside, but just a little shortcut on the level. Okay, let's get the bananas in the shape of an R of rareware, I guess. Here we get the K. And some bonuses, including a banana coin and a bunch of bananas. So let's jump to the other side. This DK barrel, dispose of the Clampon and kill this guy as well. Let's use these purple squawks again. I, I forgot to mention you. He has uh, two types of. Not exactly two types, but some uh, moves, special moves. If you hold up, he'll delay and fly a little bit slower and go on a slower descent way. If you press down, he'll go down faster. And of course, if you press left and right, you go left and right. Here you must delay a little bit, go down a little bit slower to reach this area here that is a secret, a bonus room. So yeah, basically this level we have to avoid all the bees through the way. Here's the regular squawks with his green color and throwing eggs. So yes, we have to dispose of squawks. So yes, you only see this uh, special type of squawks, the purple squawks or parrot, whatever. Only on this level. You only find him on this level. Surprisingly or not. See some greedy. I'll take the banana. Bunch. But yeah, this level is dangerous. Have to go pretty carefully to not touch the bees at any cost. When he does this sound, it's because he releases you. So keep mind of that as well. But this level actually is pretty easy for me at least. Because since you can delay your descendant move, it's actually easy to avoid the bees. You can only die here because of your greedy. Like this time, I have to go faster a little bit to avoid the bees. That's not that hard. Be careful of Mr. Spiny over there, let's dispose of him. If you have a Dixie, this is easier, but you can do this with Diddy as well. Jump over here, glide, go to the sticky honey to climb to another and the final bonus room of this level. That is a Destranol type. This one is actually fun to do. Nothing more, just kill all the bees with Mr. Squats. And here changing to a TNT barrel to kill the final bee, and there is your crane coin. Simple as that. Okay, let's get the end. Oh, I forgot to mention. Because of the first bundles room, we have to sacrifice to get the O of this level. Yeah, that's a very dumb move, but that's the way it was done. Now I have to be very, very careful here. Very precise as well. 
we should not just touch the base. Okay. Okay, just a few more set of bees to pass through. Alright, this one is pretty difficult. Let's go. Just tapping the the right directional. Kill the clump on, let's take the DK coin just to kill the click clacks. Okay, we're gonna reach this guy. Can you see what's up there? A barrel, a time at barrel, remember from Frankway? So let's use it. Just to get a banana coin. Cap yep, a little bonus. Okay, let's go slow here. Don't touch the zingus. Okay, it's a little bit nerve-wracking, but it's not that bad. Let's change and jump to another parrot. Okay, let's go pretty slow here and don't touch the bees at any any cost. Okay. Now it's a time to go faster, slow a little bit, go faster again. If you want that G, but it's not required, I'll tell you have to go faster if you want. Okay, and that's the level, that's the end. Like I said, this level is simple once you get the hand of it and know your commands, how to slow down and go faster. Okay, let's not get, uh, let's get the extra life. Man. Okay, that's it. Parachute panic is done. So now let's go, uh, let's do a visit to Mr. Swankies and see what's up. Don't be nervous, we all want what you win, don't we folks? That's right, they're all behind you. So let's start with the Luck Jaws loot. One coin. What is the name of this era, the island? Gloomy Gulch. How many little wasps did the end of the area giant wasp break up and chew? Oh, he's talking about the boss. Five? Five. What is the, the name of the trendy surfing Kong who operates his barrel flights? Oh, he's talking about Funky Kong. Okay. Let's go to the haunted hall. Um, what is the name of the forest lava which the blowing wind in it? It's called uh, Windy Woods, Breezy Battle, oh, Gusty Clay, yeah, that's the name. On the Kremlin Island map, how many small wasps hover around the wasp hives? I think, three. What is the name of the Kremlin Island that you are on? No, it's Crocodile Isle, <laughs> that's easy. Keep on game, hmm, which of these is not the name of an area of the island you have played? Crocodile Cauldron, okay. Crazy Creamland, okay. And Crocodile Canyon, I don't remember it. What is your swordfish buddy's name? He's called it Engacht. Stabber, <laughs> that's a cool name. How many world map globes are there on the shelves in Kong College? Oh, that's hard. Huh. Lucky guess, too. I just pressed the button. The question was there, but whatever. <laughs> I won. <laughs> So let's leave. Everyone is a winner here. Yeah, I know. Man, that was very, very lucky. The question just popped it there, and I was just press the button to skip the question, and I got the right answer. Okay, sometimes the lucky happens. So let's go to the next level. Call it Web Woods. One of those inner loot. Dark Forests level. Just a couple of nicks to get. Now you can choose. You can go either the down path or the up path. I like to go to the path on the top side. I have to use the G Pro to get here. Kill the Cruncher. Glide to get the coin. The K. Oh, and that guy. He's the. He's the upgraded version of Cutlass. See, he can pull his sword faster. <laughs> so be careful with him. Now a couple of nicks to kill. Once again, you can choose to go down or go up. I'll go up. Because here we'll find a chest with two extra lives. So cool. Let's go down over here and avoid Mr. TNT Clubber. And now one of those magic moments when you change into an animal buddy. Don't ask me how or 
Why? But that's how the level is. You change it to Squeeter, Spider. And we use Squeeter to pass through this whole level. So if you don't know how to create web platforms or how to aim your shots, that's the right place to practice. Or at least you must master those things up to this point. Just a few kaboings and you know, bees, all sort of enemies will appear here, but Squitter is not that bad. If you know how to control Squitter right, it's not that hard. And there's the Dicky Barrel. Okay, we have a Mr. Crook up here, so let's dispose of him. Uh, just for safety. Also, on this level, you can fully hear the forest interlude um, song. That is a very cool song, like I mentioned before. A very chill song. Here's another coin. Oh no, man. You will not kill me. If you want, there's a little loot here with some bananas and a banana coin. And now there is the middle of the level. Okay. Let's kill the beast to clear the way. A little bit nerve-wracking section since you have to climb your way through. So you have to be a little bit fast because those web platforms are temporary. You can't. Um, you can't be on the air forever for all the time. Now a few necks. Mini neckies to dispose of. Uh, just use your web attacks, and that's a breeze. Okay, let's jump over here. I guess there's a crook. Yes, up here. So let's dispose of him. Now we have a cannon. He's dead as well. Another cannon, oh, and oh, of course, I forgot to press the run button. That was dumb. Jimmy. Alright, alright, no panic. Let's do that again. I'm not nervous. Yeah, sometimes you do this, those dumb moves by accident. And once again, it's that recording curse striking again. Okay, let's kill the bees. Okay, that was close. That thing was almost disappearing, that, that web platform. Okay, dispose of the Nekis. Okay, let's dispose of Mr. Crook. And continue climbing. guy would be a pain in the ass since he fires cannibals instead of barrels that can be destroyed. Another Neki. Let's get the end just for my own sake. Go down firing like crazy just to kill all the Nekis and pass on this area. Now here's something will be interesting. Because can you see there's an arrow of bananas down there? That's because of a reason. I will show you very shortly why it's there. Let me pass here first, dispose of all the Nekis. Okay, yeah, that had to happen, but I have to use the cannonball that this cannon fired to reach a place back there. And for what? Well, let's see, I just follow the cannonball. Because this cannonball will do. Yes, destroy part of the cliff there to reveal a bonus room. Yeah, all the bonus of this level are just like that. Okay, so let's put the bees and pass room to get the token. Of course, don't touch the freaking vines because they can kill you. It's pretty usual. Alright, now let's
let's dispose of that yellow bee. Now it's a little maze of bees. Have to dispose of the yellow bees. And don't touch the red bees because, you know, they are invincible. You can't kill them. Even with Squitter. Okay, that was a bit dangerous. Okay, Mr. B, just pass through, thank you. Now this one is a little bit harder since it's rotating. But not nothing we can't handle. Okay, so let's kill the cut points here on the cliffs before they jump. <laughs> Just like that. And here we have another cannon. So let's use him again to fire this cannonball and break this cliff. Another bonus room. The final one at this level, by the way. That is a collect the stars type. And that's it. 60 Cran coins, so just 10 more to finish this game. And have all the Cran coins. Okay, so let's make our way through. Goodbye, Squitter. You were pretty helpful. Now it's the time to get the DK coin that is on the ending of this level, and you must be pretty quick to get it. But we got it. Okay. Webwoods is done, so let's go to the bus of this area. That is called the Creepy Crow. We heard of the name Crow before, so hmm, let's see. Hey, look who is the boss of this level. <laughs> Perfect! I had to press the run button at the wrong time. Again. So look who is this boss of this area. Crow himself, but the spirit of Crow, remember we killed him as the first boss of the game? Yeah, and I kinda missed the thing there, so I have to do this again, and avoid the Crow's attacks, but the thing with this battle is, you have to avoid the spiritual Nekis, and hit only the real Neki, this one, to get a barrel. Where's Crow? Yeah, that's how you battle with this guy. But yes, he came back full of rage, trying to defeat us again. Now maybe his ghostly spiritual form. Yes, he'll throw eggs at you. So be careful. I release Dixie here just because I did something really stupid. Then go to the second stage. Yes, have to repeat the process countless times. Let's do this again, avoid the Nekis. Hit only this guy to get the barrel. And that's it. Okay, so let's try and climb the hooks again to the third and final stage. This time he'll be a little bit more ruthless. Let's try to avoid the eggs. Now he'll call the Nekis again, this time they are much faster. Once again hit this guy, avoid the other two, get the barrel and just wait. And this time, Crow disappeared for good. He's finally and finally defeated. Yeah, he got me into some trouble, but that's okay. I did some stupid mistakes as well, but that happens. Alright guys, so the fifth area of the game is finally completed. The gloomy goat is completely done. All the cran coins and all the DK coins as we can see here. So in the next video it's good to end here. We're starting the final, at least the final regular area of this game. Kairos Kip. Yes, the homeland and the keep of Captain Kairo himself. Alright, so that's for the next video, so until next time on my Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest Let's Play, I'm Jimmy GGS91 here, and bye bye to everyone. Take care, my friends.